Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Rubaini Mat. I teach chemistry in Tamhidi Center, University of Science Islam, Malaysia. My friends are Junaidah Mat Din, uh, Shahira Sulaiman, they teach English. Siti Aliani is the one doing statistical analysis for the project. Muhammad Musab Anas is our um, coordinator of uh, Tamhidi of Science. We are going to present a project um, uh, called Anti-Echo Folder and Core for Echo Problem in Testing of Muad Listening Component. The objectives of this study is to overcome noise disturbance in exam hall and to reduce layering sound, which is echo, while listening to the uh, materials given during listening tests of MUET. Apart from that, we would like to um, have a minimal view of peer distraction while answering the questions. So we would like to develop a product that can um, be used to um, achieve all these objectives. Students complain during the exam that sometimes they heard noises and they couldn't listen well to what is being given during the listening test. So when facing sound disturbance, we need to identify what are the distractions. Uh, noises can be coming from outside and also inside the sound of air conditioner, for example. So noise coming from the sound that we want to hear clearly can also be altered. So this is unwanted change of the sound. They, as they travel, because they travel um, as waves. So echo is basically a repeated sound waves from a surface that bounces back to listeners. In USIM, students of Tamhidi have their MUAD exam in this big hall. This hall is so big that we can accommodate as much as 1,200 students. Um, it's a struggle for them because they need to listen and focus while answering the listening component part. So their condition and the nature and characteristics of the voice given to them should be um, um, exam, examined. This is the layout of how the MUET candidate are arranged in the exam hall. I'm sure uh, during uh, the pandemic era today, we are going to have uh, more space in between students, but that would create more echo. Here, the setting is uh, on the 29th September 2018. So um, the measurement of echo is done during this setting. I was only an invigilator um, passing the papers that the students need during MUAD. And back in 2012, before the Wantun Ku Chancellor, the exam hall was built, the exam was held in a stadium in Nilai. Being a stadium, it was designed for people to enjoy the sounds of sports. So the students had a really difficult time listening to what is given to them during the listening component. So us teachers got to talking and we decided to help them and help suggest to the university how to overcome this noise disturbance. Firstly, we need to measure the sound intensity of the listening material that is given to the students during the exam. Next, we are going to measure the echo and we are going to calculate them 
using formula produced by institutes of physics we have physics teachers and lecturers helping us on this it was found that in muat exam setting the listening materials are ranging from only 67 to 78 decibels whereas the frequency of the sound should be 80 to uh, 100 decibels this is uh, the sound that should be given to the students we have given it uh, slightly lower a survey was conducted previously and these are the categories of noise that was described by our students two years ago this is the main result of the study Echo was detected to be 113.5 meter per second for students at the back of the exam hall. In comparison to the students near to the source, they experienced only 8.67 meter per second of echo. On the physics part, it was found that in the exam hall, the echo is highest when the distance between the source of sound and the students is far. And the echo is lowest when they are near. Echo has to be eliminated. And in order for everybody to hear, we must increase the volume of the listening material so how are we going to do this we need to suggest um, ways to overcome this problem we have suggested to the university that in order to overcome this noise disturbance i.e echo it would be easier to install removable carpets were suitable along with softboards at certain points of the hall but it is costly and who's going to maintain it in the media center we only have to pembantu that be further study should be done to determine the suitable action towards this matter since muet has been an obstacle for usim students to graduate lately so therefore during the exam we are proposing that the students use ANC HOR ENCO, which stands for an anti echo folder, which can be used in every desk or certain desks at certain points of the exam hall. This is the design of our uh, ENCO, where you can see. Uh, the green part on top of the desk here is foldable and made up from um, uh, materials that can absorb sound. So this uh, graphic has been designed by um, Junaida uh, and um, she insisted on using three types of materials which is cardboard and then sponge and then a piece of cloth so we should have three layers of material for the green board on top of the desk this is our our suggestion so to materialize what we have suggested we just simply take a piece of cardboard and measure it up so that it can fit the desk by uh, 15 inches or so and then we are going to attach um, so that um, the side of the pieces is easily folded uh, we're going to add another strip of tape to the left side and also uh, on the right side to make a simple ankle this is the final product a simple one 
that we're going to use even though it has only one piece of material um, we hope we are going to upgrade this soon so that it can be used uh, on the 14th of April when our students are going to sit for the listening component of MWET. On that day, we are going to um, uh, measure the intensity of sound and then we're going to calculate the echo. This is the estimated echo value for the same points of the exam hall when anchor is used. So it is um, highly uh, hoped that our product here is going to eliminate echo and um, achieve its objective. This is the bibliography. Thank you very much for watching and listening attentively, dear judges and uh, participants, audience. We thank you, USIM, for uh, the two-year grant. Uh, has ended two years ago, actually. And um, our new um, director of Tamhidi Centre for her support um, in joining this. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.